Hey guys, I am the Nerdy Silhouette, and I wish to welcome you back to Detroit Become Human. It's a game that I am currently obsessed with, and the last game we left off here on the flowchart of Kara's first thing. Um, I am very kind of, I'm, cur I'm kind of nervous about this. Um... We got Alice to trust us, and we're very skeptical about what we're doing in this place. And uh, I'm almost positive that I kind of ruined it. We we had a chance to get out, or find out at least what Alice felt, and we didn't take it because I wanted to go and talk to Todd about what to do next, since I have finished everything. Like I finished cleaning the house, and I finished doing all that nonsense. And because I wanted to talk to him to see what we would do next and kind of like ease suspicion off him, like us scoping around, it kind of just went into the next thing and we weren't able to go check the box. And I really wanted to check the box. I wanted to know what was in it. But let's keep moving. Let's see what happens next. Are we going to talk to Connor or are we going to go see uh, Mr. Paintman? Because I don't know. Oh, Mr. Paintman. We haven't gotten this guy's name yet. But so far we have Connor and Kara. I don't know what your name is, dude. But we went to go pick up some paint. For what? I don't know. But I'm sure we'll find out. Mark it. Deposit package. Put down. Beautiful. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl upstairs. Are we like one of those nurse kind of androids? Is there a guy that we're taking care of? Carl? Carl, that kills people. Hmm. Old man Carl? Are you old man Carl? Draw the curtain. Draw them. Yep. Old man Carl. Good, Good morning, morning, Carl. Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I forgot. Oh, you're a painter. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. I'm not going to assist you in anything, I'll Carl. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Come here, Carl. You're a good man, Carl. Can I just stop holding L1? Would I drop him if I did? He's a very artsy guy. I wish I was artsy. Like him. I wish for a lot of things. Take Carl to die. Anything table. special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. 
I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I would like to have my breakfast before noon, if you don't mind. I'm sorry, Carl. I didn't realize that I was doing all the turning. I'm gonna make sure you're all set and ready to go. All right, let's go, Carl. Wow, you're fast, Carl. I wish I was that fast. Let's go. That and I don't know where your dining room is. I assume it's between... Oh, wow. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. This is the dining table, right? Let's go get breakfast. Oh, he's got a smiley face cup. Smiley face mug. You know, this is a good thing about Androids, too, is that we could help Thank people you, like Carl here. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Hmm. Find something to do. Like what? Look at all the books. I could read a book. What are my options? Read a book. Ooh, play the piano. I already want to play the piano. What's the other option? Let's play piano. Marcus seems like an artsy kind of guy.
that's where I'll end it there. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. Aww. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. You're such a sweet guy, you know? Where is your studio? I am kind of at a loss of where your studio is. This door isn't opening, so I guess it's not that way. Is it through this door by the giraffe? I guess so. Wow, this sounds so cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. That's so pretty, Carl. Nifty looking. Okay, now we gotta go over here. Clean this up. Wait, I just bought you this. Cleaning your studio. Clean. Clean. It's an ear. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Yeah, Carl, come on. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> what am I... You mean it? I get to try? find a subject to paint. Hmm. 
paint the statue, paint the desk, paint Carl's painting. I kind of want to paint the desk. But the statue is so, like, let's do the desk. So many colors. know which way you're oh diagonally you did that, that with a, a few copy of reality the painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see Carl I don't think I can do that it's not in my program I Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Try again. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate. Come on, and Marcus. How it makes you feel. And let your hand drift across the canvas. What are we going to paint? Androids, humanity, or identity. Let's do... Identity. Androids, despair, doubts. Prisoner. Doubts. Because he he doubts his identity. Being an android, I guess, with human feelings, I think I I wouldn't know what I was doing. You drew that all in a few simple strokes? Hey, Dad. Leo. Hey, Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You Do I have right? to protect Carl from you? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know Because why. you're on drugs, Leo. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's a god that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Well... You don't be, like, doing drugs and then asking your parents for money, man. You're an adult. You can do what you want. You just gotta do it yourself. You're a big boy. You got big boy pants now. Well, 
I sort of figured Leo intruding to ask for money was the only thing. And then, let's see. Play piano. Could have done anything else. Yeah. Wake Carl, serve breakfast. Drop off package, arrive home. I like that one. I like Marcus and Carl. I like Carl a lot, actually. He's a nice guy. Who are we leading on to now? Connor! I didn't think I'd see you again, Connor. I don't know why I didn't think I'd see you again, but... Owners will be prosecuted. Connor ain't got no owner. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Nope, you're Derek. Hey, Derek, how's it going? Christopher Gray. How about you, man? Who are you? Jimmy Peterson. Edward Dempsey. Noah Graham. What's your problem? Who are you, man? Hank Anderson. Hiding from anyone. Stop. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. Come a on. Involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Um, understand. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Yeah. If not, we're gonna persist. Bill is drink, buy him another one. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. I was gonna say, come on, Hank, work with Connor oh. here. He's trying. Did you say homicide? Indeed I did. Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Follow the lieutenant. Shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. 
What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even sure. at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for Yeah, I'm not his android. I am an android I'm sent by Cyberlight. What's going on? My name's Connor. Jesus, that smell it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Oh man, it's not Todd. And aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, oh, stayed easy. In. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Yeah. Who knows? It could have been his android who'd done it. All right. Evidence, eh? Examine. Drugs. Red ice. Yep. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Analyze this. Android involvement. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Um, 19 days ago. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. <laughs> Eden Club, come and visit us. Come and visit us at the Eden Club. There's a lot of stuff over there. Red ice. Dry blood. Our friend Carlos like to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotic. Thanks. Consider it done, Lieutenant. I'm not gonna open that just yet. I wanna examine this stuff. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Fingerprints. Signs of a struggle. Yeah, that's it. What's it? Gossips Weekly. Android sex officially better? Oh god. No thank you. Missing knife. This window definitely looks a little bit more beaten up. Baseball bat. Carlos's fingerprints.
involvement, traces of Ethereum. Even took a knife. The event was attacked, emotional shock. And then the deviant took a knife. outside and check this out. Analyze this. Uh, shoe print. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Holy crap! It's actually raining outside. I was so confused. I was like, what is going on? Dry blood. Come on. Dry blood. You guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. And then no I'm gonna to check out the blood over here. Regular letters from Cyber Life Sands. Hey, Carlos. Ugh. Yeah, you had red ice all over your face. Um, stab wounds? 28 knife wounds. Holy crap, Carlos. Fingerprints. No, I hit the wrong one. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. I don't think the killer... I think it was his fault first. First off. Victim fell here. Was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. He was stabbed multiple times and he fell. Crawled over this way. And was pushed up against the wall where he was stabbed again. Quite a few times. But I don't have all my evidence. I've got 9 out of 10. There's got to be something else I'm missing. And I hope it doesn't have anything to do with that cyber sex thing. But why do I want to look at that? I just want to examine. I don't want to talk. No. 
I don't want to talk. I want to examine. Excuse me. I guess I have to look at this. Back to the cover. Turn the page. Tech addict. Saying your android is spying on you. So he thought his android was spying on him. Um, more and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying a new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions are... Hold on. Uh, yeah, two political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to cyber life only deepen such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that cyber life dis discloses the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a, formally in for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered thus far. I feel like I'm missing something here. There's got to be some kind of form of What about over here? What's over here? Ah, hiding, aren't we? Obsessive writing. religious offering. Hmm. Is that all the evidence? Yes, it is. All right, let's go talk to, what's his name? Hank. Oh, Hanky Poo. Hank. I don't like Hank. You should be more like Frank. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In... The kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. And the android grabbed the knife in defense. The android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. sense. The android murdered the victim 
with a knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Yes, I can. Yeah. So I get to find traces of blue blood. Well, there it is there. Going out this way. It goes two ways this time. Comes. This is interesting. ladder was used. Find something to climb. The, the, the ladder. Can't we just climb the ladder? Or a chair. I guess we could climb a chair. Chair? Take the chair. Hey, 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 what are you chair. doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm check something. Place this out. Fine. Should I be ready for jump scares? Android? deviant. Well, he's definitely behind the curtain. I'm not gonna die, though, am I? What is that? Oh, no, there's traces of blue blood. There's more traces of blue blood. La blue blood. Okay. Find the deviant and follow the blood. No, oh, he's still here. I saw you, friendo. Excuse me, sir. My name is Connor. I would like to assist. I know you didn't mean to kill your, your guy friend here, but he aggravated it. He aggravated an assault, and you were defending yourself. I believe there might be some sexual assault also involved. Hey, may I talk to you? I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, 
Get your asses in here now. I just need to talk to you. We just need to talk Come to you. On. Holy crap. Found the deviant. Was there a possibility that we wouldn't find the deviant? Okay. Reconstruct the crime. Follow blue blood. Search attic. Found the deviant. I mean, technically... Um, knife. Blood on the walls. I think it could have gone into, like, a religious thing, but I don't, that didn't have much to do with any, it didn't have anything to do with the crime, so why? Why do it? But we found Deviant, and all we want to do is talk. I'm really hoping it doesn't end up like Daniel. I wanted to ask it its name and be like, hey, how are you? I'm Connor. Who are you? Do you come here often? Do you like to spend a lot of your time in attics? But anyway, guys, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys are loving Detroit Become Human just as much as I am because I love this game to death and I think it's really cool how it's all put together. Um, I'm so excited to see what happens in the future in this game. I'm really, really hoping. I'm really going to try to like not screw up and lose a character because I really don't want to because I love them all so much especially Marcus and Carl. I feel like Carl's not going to last the whole game, which is kind of sad to think about, but I really hope that everything goes well. <laughs> Even though it's not already going well, like, androids are starting to rise up and be more human, and they're trying to be like, know where people do. Which... Even I have a hard time being like, no, they're not people. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, they really are. They really are. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you loved it, please leave a big fat thumbs up and or subscribe to my channel for more videos by me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!